Good evening, dear friends, and uh, thank you, my pal, for inviting me. And I would just be talking about uh, what we are going to do. We have uh, eight centers, about 300 staff, and about 40 doctors. And uh, let me just uh, pull up my presentation. Uh, So how do we financially stay afloat during the COVID times? This is always a challenge. Uh, for us, our profits for the last year were not very high. They were single digit and uh, we have uh, uh, very limited resources. So now we'll have to see how we are going to manage this resource, uh, considering that the whole of April, we have not worked. Uh, and also one week in March and uh, we don't know how May is going to pan out. Uh, so we, we had a discussion of the top management and then uh, took some uh, decisions on how we can uh, manage. And uh, most of my uh, uh, consultants and staff have agreed for this. So I'm very thankful to them um, because these are trying times. Uh, so for employees whose salaries are uh, less than 25,000, we have uh, not cut uh, for April. Of course, for March, we have made the full payments for everybody. And between 25 to 1 lakh, uh, 25,000 plus 50 percent of the amount exceeding uh, 25,000. And uh, 1 to 2 lakhs, we are paying out uh, 50,000 plus 30 percent of the amount uh, exceeding uh, 50,000. And 2 to 3 lakhs, 75,000 plus 20 percent of the amount exceeding uh, this. And uh, the maximum payout, we have limited it uh, to 1.25 lakhs for the employees. For residents and fellows, we are making full payments for those who have worked. Some of them, uh, a few of them have gone home and uh, they are completely absent. So for them, we are going to cut the stipend. And uh, <clears throat> for consultants, basically, uh, uh, we are looking at a 30% cut for those who are earning up to 1.2 uh, lakhs and 40% uh, for those up to 2 lakhs and 50% for those up to 3 lakhs. And the maximum payout also, we are kind of um, cutting it to 1.3 lakhs. <clears throat> Leadership uh, by example is something that I believe in. So the founder directors, me and my wife are taking a full uh, salary pay cut. Uh, and also uh, we own some of the buildings so a complete rental cut. So this is going to save some money for the company. And also the three uh, directors who are there have agreed to take a full pay cut. Um, so that uh, we have to tighten our belts first before we can actually uh, look at our consultants and uh, employees uh, chipping in. So strategies after May are also going to be very important. Uh, we have uh, right now negotiated the rentals uh, to 50%. Uh, the rentals, uh, the landowners did not agree for a waiver for April. So 50% uh, pay payouts for the properties for April. And then we are looking at uh, negotiating for a 20% cut thereafter. And from May, we plan to have uh, extended working hours from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., including Sunday, so that we are able to kind of uh, <clears throat> reduce the crowding in the clinics and then uh, stagger uh, patient appointments. And we will have split uh, hours for consultants and staff. Uh, we'll decide the salaries for May onwards, depending upon the revenue generated, and we may implement some pay cuts accordingly. If the revenue is good, then uh, uh, we may not, but again, it depends. And from the financial advisors, uh, it may take up to the fourth quarter. So this is something we have to look at, and I've already spoken to my team about that. Retrenchment uh, and non-performers, basically, there are uh, two uh, options, uh, either we can lay them off or we can watch for a couple of months and see how the finances are going. We will avoid laying off uh, initially uh, and we will hold out as far as possible. Once it becomes uh, tight, then we will have to look at it because there is no other options. We'll have to keep the performers and then let go of the non-performers. And also we can look at multitasking for staff. So staff can take on more responsibilities. We'll also have to look at reducing utility bill, uh, bills. We are going to switch off all the ACs except in the OTs and then just have fans and keep the doors open. Uh, so these are small things which we can look at saving uh, money. And uh, we are going to avoid all new investment in equipment. And of course, uh, uh, the CMCs and AMCs uh, extended by three months. We'll have to 
uh, look at the non ophthalmic equipment also like lifts and uh, generator uh, coming to the leaf structure uh, we have decided there will be no encashment of uh, earned leaves and they have to be utilized over the year so that will save some money for the company and uh, coming to conferences for the consultants no conference leaves for this year and only uh, on special permission if they have papers or courses then on a case to case basis it will be decided so these are some of the measures that uh, we have looked at but we may keep uh, changing as time goes by and we see how things are uh, panning out uh, so thank you very much and this is just what uh, we have decided